This is the UFO News with Joshua Poet. All right, Dirk, thank you very much. Today, three stories. Story number one comes to us from our volcano out there in Mexico. Okay, we could see something in the image shooting out from the volcano itself. It was caught shooting out of the volcano towards the live internet cameras. You can see the UFO doesn't come from the mouth of a volcano, but instead comes from a lava vent on the side. I have seen smoke come from this vent before, but this is the first time I've seen a UFO come out of the volcano like this. It's only an 11 second video, but you can certainly see how it shoots out of there. And it shoots straight up. Same images right here. Okay, that's sighting number one. Our next story for today over Mudgee, Australia. Here's our image in question. Interesting footage of a huge unidentified flying object hovering over a Mudgee in Australia. Recorded March 11th, just the other day. Okay, and let's take a look at some of this video here. This is... Uh, UFO Hunter Laszlo. There we go. Another excellent shot by Laszlo. Found there in Australia. All right. And finally, one last piece. This is a story that says Neuroscience wants to know why people who see UFOs feel so good. Why do people who see UFOs feel so good? Each year, Phoenix, Arizona hosts the International UFO Congress, the largest annual gathering dedicated to the study of the phenomena, otherwise known as ufology. One of the most striking things I've ever noticed while speaking with attendees at this year's Congress was their insistence on the reality of UFOs. Even before I had expressed any doubt, ufologists always seemed to be on the defensive, a conversational tick that I have undoubtedly learned from years of speaking with skeptics. In other words, ufologists will always be the first ones to let you know that they don't believe in UFOs. They know they are real, but the gap between belief and knowledge is a large one, a chasm that separates the scientific and the pseudoscientific. Since ufology became something of an organized field of study, albeit a fringe one, in the 1950s, the overwhelming majority of the scientific community hasn't hesitated to label the field as pseudoscientific, much of the ire of the ufologist. Although the U.S. government has launched a formal inquiries into the UFO phenomena, little has changed in the last six decades to indicate that ufology will ever be anything more than a pseudoscientific. But Bob Davies, a retired neuroscientist and self-described UFO agnostic, wants to change that. I caught up with him at the International UFO Congress to find out why he thinks ufology can become a serious scientific discipline. Our conversation has been lightly edited for clarity and for length. It says, uh... Bob, hey, Bob, you're a retired neuroscience, but most scientists don't take UFO seriously. What gives? He says, I've been a closet ufologist my whole life, I guess because of the fear of ridicule with others. When my wife and I visited Sedona a couple of years ago, we happened to see two orange orbs in the night sky. I'm not sure what it was, but it motivated me to start writing my book, The UFO Phenomena. Now I'm a member of Dr. Mitchell Foundation for the Research into Extraterrestrial Encounters, exploring the essence of the phenomena. What kind of research does the organization do? It says we've studied 3,057 individuals who claim to have conscious, explicit memory of contact with craft associated. And what they find out, ufologists have always thought that this phenomenon was a negative or hostile experience, but we're finding the opposite. What we've found is about 85% of the people who are experiencing this phenomena are being transformed in a very positive behavioral or a psycho-spiritual way. Generally, people become more humane, experience a oneness with the world. They become less interested in organized religion. They become more spiritual. They have less interest in monetary values and become more sensitive to the ecological welfare of our planet, among many other psycho-spiritual outcomes. It's really a hard and powerful outcome that is generally ignored by the UFO community. Okay, and I think that's a very important thing to be aware of because... You know, we do look for validation as human beings, and when we know something exists but we're told it doesn't, and then we see with our own eyes, it validates to us that we were correct about our assessment. So keep reporting the UFOs, keep seeing them. If you see them in the sky, be skeptical, but ask questions. That's the whole process of how it works. And that is our UFO news for today.